everyone it is a chilly morning here so we decided to do oatmeal this morning today we're gonna share a recipe that we shared pictures of the final product on Instagram and everybody seemed to love it so we're going to share our pineapple upside down oatmeal breakfast step one is to take six cups of water to three cups of oats we find that the one to two ratio works best with these quick oats that we use here it's actually a little bit less like they do five cups to three cups so we may try it that way but usually we find that the six to one or one to two ratio works but for the way that we make them we just prefer to do it that way because we're actually adding more things in that absorb liquid so we're going to do the one to two ratio this morning but if you if it's too much water for you and also for like reheating purposes we find if you don't do the one to two ratio like when it reheats it's very thick and we make enough to where we can have it for two mornings in a row so we're going to do one to two i'm going to put six cups of water in here and set it to boil before i add the three cups of oats This part is going to be a little tricky to film, but I'm going to try my best. These are the rapidly breaking bubbles that I was looking for. If you can kind of look in there, it's when the bubbles start to form and then pop very quickly. Um, that's what you're looking for with a good boil for hard boiled eggs and for doing oatmeal. So this next part is going to be, like I said, really tricky because oatmeal has a tendency to boil over. So what I normally do is I add my first cup, then immediately turn this down to nine between eight and nine while I add the other two and yes that just steamed up on you so there's one you can see it already starting to try to do it there's two and there's three again if it's too much water for you do the three cups to five cups but like I said for us with the reheating and how we cook it we just prefer it that way so now that it's all in there, timer, one minute. And you literally just want to keep stirring it. Now that it's not gonna boil over, you can slowly start turning it back up to high because you want it boiling. Sorry, I keep fogging it up. Like I said, it's really tricky to try to film while doing this. You've gotta keep constantly stirring for one whole minute. Woo! Also, side note, I try to put the lid back on as quickly as possible so that the steam from the oatmeal beside it is not going to get into the entire container. Five four, three, two, one. All right, and that's it. The next step is to set a timer for two minutes. I don't remember which brand actually tells you to do this, but we found that one of the oatmeal brands said to try to do this and your oatmeal will turn out better just letting it set for two minutes after it finishes boiling before you start adding anything into it, except maybe the salt. But like I showed you, it tries to boil fairly quickly, so I do not add salt in the boiling process. <laughs> so I actually don't even add salt to this recipe, I don't think. Let me, I will show you in just a second. But we're gonna let that set for two minutes, then come back to it. So here's what it looks like after two minutes. And like I said, for some people, that is too much water. I have found that like with the steel cut oats, you're definitely gonna have more water. But with these quick oats from all these, you don't really have as much excess water. And like I said, with us, we make a larger batch so that we can reheat it the next day. So I use it kind of like make ahead meals. So you can see it there, but like if you don't like it as thin as that and you're gonna eat it same day, definitely you can cut back on the water amount. So let's get on to adding the next ingredients. The next two things that we are going to add are going to be these dull crushed pineapple. I have found that I like the Dole ones better. It's better quality pineapple chunks that you get in here like you do the store brand or any of the other brands that I've tried. So we're going to use the Dole crushed pineapple. Then we are going to use, I am going to start with a quarter cup of brown sugar. From what I remember last time it was that's how much we used. 
but I'm thinking we may have used different oats. So I'm going to start from there and see. But with the pineapple, I usually don't have to add a lot of sugar to it because the pineapple comes in its own juice and it's crushed so it distributes better. So we're going to try just a quarter cup for the whole six cups of oats. If that's too much for you, you can also not add the sugar and just sweeten it with honey, tarani, or whatever your sweetener of choice is after you've added the pineapple and the other ingredients. That is it for the actual making process. Now I'm just going to put it in bowls and I'm going to top them off. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.